Hi, I'm Dr. Christina Dervatis, an obstetrician gynecologist in Newmarket, Ontario. Welcome back to my channel, Talking IUC with Dr. D. Today's video will be a follow-up to my last video in which I discussed the use of the levonorgestrel IUD. Uh, the most common one that we use in uh, Canada that is available is Marina. Uh, talking about using the levonorgestrel IUD for treatment of heavy and painful menstrual cycles. In today's video, we're going to discuss a few general pr principles uh, as it pertains to using the levonorgestrel IUD for treatment of period problems and to talk about what to expect um, when you've had an IUD placed for this indication. Overall, the numbers, uh, when we look at studies of women who use the levonorgestrel IUD, the numbers tell us that about 90% of women will have less heavy periods, 70% will have less painful periods, and up to 30% may have almost no period bleeding at all or just very scant bleeding. Now, the first principle that I'd like patients to remember is to be patient. These sorts of changes to your menstrual cycle are not going to happen overnight. Uh, it does take some time for the levonorgestrel to be released and to have its impact on the uterine lining. And so I warn patients that they may not expect a result overnight. It may take actually several months before they notice an improvement in their cycles. During that several month period um, or adjustment phase, there can be some annoying daily light bleeding. It's usually not very heavy bleeding. And uh, once again, I remind patients that this is a normal part of the adjustment process uh, to a new IUD. It's not a sign of anything bad and it will get better. It can be frustrating, admittedly, it can be frustrating um, when you're having that initial phase where you're having many days in a row of bleeding or of some sort of discharge, um, but with uh, this treatment, as with many other medications when we're treating the menstrual cycle, uh, there is an adjustment phase and we need to be patient and give it a chance to work. Now the second principle that I want patients to adhere to is uh, we need to have realistic expectations and goals for the treatment. The overall goal is improvement. Improvement in the menstrual bleeding or the amount of menstrual bleeding um, or if it's being used for treatment of heavy, uh, not just heavy periods, but painful periods, improvement in the menstrual cramping. It unfortunately is not a guarantee of no bleeding. Um, again, 30% of patients will be lucky enough to not have any menstrual bleeding um, at all with using a levonorgestrel IUD, um, but the other remaining 70% will still likely have uh, menstrual cycles. Uh, sometimes I see patients who are coming to see me for treatment and they've talked to a friend who has been one of the lucky 30% with no bleeding and so their expectation is that, oh, this means I'm not going to have periods, right? So, um, you know, we always hope for that, but it's not necessarily a guarantee of that. Um, but remember, the overall goal is improvement in bleeding. Are things better now than they were before the IUD? Some patients will say, well, my cycles are a little bit longer, more days of bleeding, but much lighter. And so I ask them, is that better than the, you know, flooding episodes and the huge clots that you were passing previously? Yes, even though there's been a change in my bleeding and it's um, sometimes it might be a little less regular or um, the actual numbers of days might be a little bit longer, not for all patients. But in, in that example, I would again ask the patient to consider what your periods were like previously, what are they like now, is life better, and if so, we continue. If not, the IUD, remember, can come out at any point in time, although it's good for five years, um, up to seven years in patients who've had the IUD inserted after age 45. Um, although it's good for that duration, it does not need to remain in for that duration and can come out at any period of time. Um, so the last concept I'd like to go over is um, just to reinforce that not only is the levonorgestrel IUD considered one of our first line treatment options for contraception, it also has become one of our first line treatment options for heavy and painful periods. Uh, in the past, we often would turn to the birth control pill first for this indication. 
The advantage of the levonorgestrel IUD is that it delivers the medication right to the lining of the uterus where it needs to do its job. Um, there are, uh, are um, fewer other body hormone side effects because of that, because it's not having to go through the bloodstream to get to the uterus. Um, and there's less what we call systemic um, absorption of the hormone. Um, and you can see my previous videos that discuss hormone uh, related side effects uh, as it pertains to IUD use. Um, so not only is it going where it needs to work, less absorption into the bloodstream, also you're avoiding the exposure to estrogen uh, that is in the birth control pill, which we traditionally turn to uh, first line in the past. Now, thinking about the concept of it being first line, we're not saying that this is the end of the road for your treatment options for heavy and painful periods. We're saying this is one of the things you should think of to try first to see if it works. It may not work for all patients, but it certainly can be considered by most patients. Um, again, in my previous video, I talked about some patients that might not be good candidates for uh, an IUD, uh, depending on what the cause of the heavy painful periods is. But um, speaking quite generally, most people can at least consider um, trying the IUD first, and if it works, great. If not, then we can move on to other um, treatment options. And for some women with really severe um, uh, bleeding issues or pain issues, uh, they might even be down the road considering surgical treatment options. Certainly the general principle um, in not only gynecology but medicine in general today is to try to exhaust um, less invasive, less risky medical management options first before we go on to options like surgery, which obviously uh, carry higher risks. Um, so that is always the goal is if, if we can help patients um, in a way that is uh, simple, less invasive, with fewer risks, um, we want to turn to that first before we start exploring more extreme treatment options that, that involve surgery, the risks of general anesthesia, surgical risks, and so on. So that was just a brief um, conversation about what to expect when you are using a levonorgestrel IUD uh, for treatment of your period problems. Uh, I hope that today's video has been helpful. As usual, I will end by saying that in less than the time that it took for you to watch this video, you could have had an IUD inserted. The process takes about five minutes and provides up to five years of worry-free contraception and also for some women, up to five years of less heavy, less painful menstrual cycles. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.